We're a week away from Christmas and I wanted to show you how you could spice your sprouts up to make Christmas dinner perhaps a little bit more interesting or even it's a good recipe for your um, leftover Brussels sprouts. So we start the Indian way by heating a little bit of oil in a pan. Now this is a recipe and in fact this series of recipes um, is only going to use three spices and the three spices that I'm going to use today are mustard seeds, chilli and turmeric. So mustard seeds, chilli powder and turmeric. And then at the end of the dish, we put in a few finishing flavours. And the finishing flavours today are going to be a little bit of mustard paste and perhaps a bit of lemon. So we heat our oil in the pan and as soon as it's hot enough to actually start interacting with the mustard seeds, we pop them in. So a teaspoon of mustard seeds and they will start to frenzy and they will start to splutter and pop. And that means that the aromatic oils within the mustard seeds are coming out into the oil and that is what we want because as soon as that happens we pop in a touch of chilli powder. Now chilli powder, I'm going to turn this down because it's spluttering, the chilli powder is not used to give heat. I don't like curries hot. It's used primarily to give a uh, nutty flavour to the dish and um, it's quite essential so already that smells really quite good and nutty. Pop the heat back on. Um, now that the, pop, the mustard seeds are popped, we put our Brussels sprouts in. Now I have parboiled these Brussels sprouts just so that I can do the video quite quickly. If you were doing them from fresh, they'd go in raw and they cook slowly um, just to soften them on a, on a low simmer. Um, but we can cook them quite brightly because the par cooked. So the, mustard seed, the uh, Brussels sprouts go in and then we put in a touch of turmeric. Turmeric only goes in once the vegetable has gone in. And the turmeric gives the dish an earthy flavour. And it also gives it that very um, typical yellow um, colouring. Um, but it is quite essential in terms of the layers of flavour that you're trying to develop in an Indian dish. Chilli, turmeric and your main spice. So that's all we've done. We stir the turmeric in, make sure it's combined in the dish and you would allow that to cook for a few minutes. We've expedited this, we can move a bit faster. And so we put in now what our tongue wants to get from this dish. And you can go different ways with Indian food. At this point, I could think, right, I'm gonna want a bit of salt for sure. So we throw a little bit of seasoning in. We could keep it quite savory and avoid putting any sweet in whatsoever. It's quite, um, it's not unusual to add sugar to vegetable dishes in Indian cooking, in fact to all dishes, because our tongue has a number of areas of taste that all need satisfying, is what we think. Um, I generally like my dishes to have a little bit of a sweet edge to them, or at least for that part of my tongue to feel engaged, so we put a bit of sugar in. And our final flavour is this wonderful substance. All it is is English mustard that I've watered down. And there is something very clever about the way that mustard works, particularly with leafy vegetables and mustard seeds. They come together and they create something quite magical, quite beyond what the individual components could create. Um, and especially with that touch of sugar and salt, you are going to get so much flavour from this dish. And frankly, those sprouts become utterly unrecognisable. I have been cooking this for minutes and we're absolutely done. Remember in India, they don't spend hours necessarily labouring over dishes. We need to be quite quick. Vegetables are perishable and there's not a huge amount of fuel. So that is a very typical um, way of uh, preparing a leafy vegetable dish. So your ingredients were simply mustard seeds, turmeric, chilli powder, and we ended the dish with a bit of mustard paste. Um, I think I'm going to have to try one of these. Thank you.